Well, um, I wanted to make some comments about what it was like growing up with pornography in the home. And this was uh, in the 1950s, the late 1950s, early 1960s. Um, it had a profound impact on me, and I could certainly go into all of the cliched objectification of women, um, sex as performance, uh, primarily aimed at um, the man's pleasure, commodification of the woman's body, unrealistic beauty standards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And they just, but that doesn't really, for me, get to the heart of it. I think for me, the the thing I wanted to comment on the most was um, I will never know what my sexuality would have been like if I hadn't been exposed to that. That, um, you know, I um, I remember, you know, as early as first or second grade, I can remember being very... Um, go kind of crushed out on female classmates, you know, even even in kindergarten, nursery school even, and how delightful it was when there would be a sleepover and and I was very inundated with fairy tales at that period of my life and so I always envisioned us going on these fabulous adventures together. It was really very much like um Zena and Gabrielle in the television series and there, it wasn't all about sex. It wasn't anything like that. It was just incredibly romantic and incredibly exciting and adventurous. And just, I think the adventure of sharing with another person, of having someone compliment um, who I was and to be able to tell these stories. I was a great storyteller and just sharing my delight with the world. And that got very split off because there was this, this very frightening and strange world I was being exposed to that I understood was sort of adult sexuality. It was what I could expect to grow into. It's what the adult world would be like for me. And then, of course, at puberty, I was very socialized to date boys. And all of that felt very non-organic for me. It was a disruption of the natural trajectory I was on. And when I came out in my early 30s as a lesbian, it was very interesting. It was like I kind of picked up from where I'd left off at about age 10 or 12, which is interestingly enough when they say the Ophelia syndrome hits. And I have often wondered if socialization to heterosex isn't really what is behind the sudden fall off in um, girls' self-esteem and so on. Anyway, that's to me the biggest harm that pornography did is um, I, you know... Some part of me got ruptured and split off, didn't develop naturally. I had to pick it up again 20 years later and sort of try to figure out what the missing pieces were to sort of move through that evolution unnaturally as an adult, go relive puberty again. And, um, and it will never be the same, you know, like I have those images and I certainly practiced heterosex, not exactly porno pornographically, but certainly d dissociatively and certainly in performance mode and trying to conform to, um, you know, the images, the sort of Marilyn Monroe-ish type of images of, you know, what was expected of women. Um, so, uh... I think the the killing of the dream, the um, the killing of the dream. That's that's how it hit me the hardest. Yeah.